How's it going everybody? Squeegee Dino Toy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at decals in Unity, how to get them working in HDRP, and how to get multiple types looking good. So we're going to jump straight into Unity here. As you can see, I've got three different kinds of decal bone. We have a crack, we have a dirt splat, and we have some graffiti. So let's go ahead and get started on making these. For beginning, I'm gonna go ahead and create a decals folder. As you can see, I've already got one here, but let's go ahead and create a new one for the sake of this tutorial. I'm gonna jump in here, and now we're gonna import the textures that we want. So to begin with, we're gonna start with our dirt texture. Here I have a folder that has all of the decals from within Skater XL ripped directly from the game. And I will go ahead and leave a link in the description for this. Thank you to Toast and Tech for getting these ripped and sending me a link. So I'm going to grab my dirt decals here. We've got, we'll start with this one. We need our cc.png and our mtao.png. Drag and drop that in. Our next step is going to be to create material. And we're going to change our shader from HD render pipeline. Uh, slash lit to the HD render pipeline decal. Now our base color is this white one, so we're gonna drag that up here. And our normal map is this, or the mask map is this green one. Dirt decals do not have a normal map. The next thing we're gonna do is come over to our sample scene. We're gonna right click create rendering decal projector. And here's our decal projector. Perfect. So with our decal projector, this white arrow here indicates the direction that it is aiming. So if I were to rotate it 90 degrees along the x-axis, now it's facing that way. If we do 180, now it's facing up. Set to zero there. And we're going to have this dirt show up on the wall. Anywhere that this white box is touching the wall, if I were to shrink this in, it would no longer be touching it. So it'll show up on this wall and anything else within the white box. Let me scoot it up a little so it doesn't touch the ground. Now we can just take this new material and drag it to here where it says material. And there we go, our dirt is on the wall. The next step is gonna be come back to our material and we can now play with the base color. As long as this effect base color box is checked, it will adjust the color. And the final thing we can do is we can turn that opacity up. If it's still not opaque for you enough, we can take this, control D to duplicate it and now it basically is doubling down on the opacity. Okay, so the next one we're gonna create is our crack. So we're gonna go find our crack texture and drag that in. I'll just use decal one, okay. And once again, we're gonna create a new material and switch it to a decal. And let's go ahead and rename this. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate, or I'm gonna take my duplicate decal projector, move it over, and we're gonna move our crack material here. So now we're gonna come over to our crack material and in this case we have a normal map and do not hit fix now we don't want to use that for this as these are already set up as normal maps and then we have a mask map again it's important to have normal opacity set to base color map alpha and change that to map blue and change this to map alpha now it still is not looking quite right we're going to want to uncheck effect base color so the next step we need to do is to come click on our mask map here and we need to come up to this sRGB color texture box. So we're gonna uncheck that, come down here, hit apply. That'll help prevent um, weird uh, reflections occurring around the square of your texture. And we can leave everything else as it is. And once again, we can bump our opacity up. And if it's still not enough for you, we can duplicate and make sure to ignore because it will fix the normal, which we don't want. Okay, so that's our duplicated crack texture. So I'm gonna move this over and now we're just gonna make our graffiti. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my graffiti resource. I have quite a few saved on my computer already, but you can find some from the internet or in the discard. Let's go ahead and use this one. Drag and drop that in. And we're gonna create one more material. And now we're gonna drag this over as our base color and go ahead and change our decal. As we can see, the rotation isn't what we want. So now we can, so now we can rotate our decal. In case negative 90 degrees is what I need to fix it. 
and we can use these handles on the sides to drag it and affect the size. Once again, if we move it back, it's only affecting it Look forward. Something to keep in mind with decals is they don't affect cracks or uh, corners very well. Definitely takes a little bit of finaglement. But if you angle them right, they can look okay. But it's tricky. If you angle them right, they can come out okay, but it can be tricky to play with. This is probably more applicable to a dirt decal. Okay, so the final step to make sure that this shows up in the game appropriately is we need to go to our assets and we need to find our HD render pipeline asset. It should be in your settings, if not, uh, find it. And we're gonna come over to this, open it in our inspector, and we're gonna scroll all the way down. We're gonna enable, enable metal and AO properties. Check that box, and this is what will allow your decals to show up in the game. If you don't check that, they'll work in here and not in the game. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and educational. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next tutorial, and thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.